should be in the middle of the, in the middle of the ring at all costs. Stay in the middle. Very even fight so far. Power punches through two rounds. She has landed one fewer. 20 of 73. 21 of 73 for Morales. I gave uh, the second round to Chi. Morales won the first round. George, you want to see Morales using his jab a lot more. That's right. Morales' back should never be any more than uh, three feet from the, from those ropes. Shouldn't be so close to the rope. He has no room to get away from a shot. Fighting a guy with a longer reach, you want to keep him real close to the rope so there is no reach advantage. Injun Chi doing a nice job of forcing Morales into the corner and then unloading. Referee Jose Cobian says, lay off the back of Morales' head. Chi offered to touch gloves with Morales. Morales rejected it. Jin Chi doing a good job too of feigning and missing some of those shots from Morales. Many of the Korean fighters we've seen have been one dimensional, tough and strong and brave, but they didn't have this kind of head movement uh, that Chi is exhibiting here, uh, this kind of versatility. She seems not to have any instinct, instincts to finish a fight. He lands a good shot and let the fight get away again. Once you get Morales on the corner in the ring on those ropes, you've got to stay on it. Go for the finish. Let the referee break it up. Engine Chi, though, right there in front of Eric Morales. Moments ago, Referee Raul Caiz reading instructions to Roy Jones Jr. Okay, Roy. Again, watch your punches behind the back of the head. Watch your kidney punches. Watch your low blows. Bone here on up is fine. Case of a knockdown, which is any part of the body other than the bottom of your feet. Mm -hmm. Knee, glove, elbow hit the deck. It's a knockdown. Please don't hit a man this down. If you think he's went down, if you have any doubt, step back. And I'll indicate knockdown or slip. And then we'll take it from there. Remember, mouthpiece has to be in your mouth at all times. If you're fighting and your opponent hits you or you hit him and his mouthpiece falls out, continue fighting as long as there's action or as long as there is an advantage. Once there's no longer, or when there's a, once there's a lull in the action, I'll stop the, 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 the battle, replace the mouthpiece, and you guys can continue. Again, remember, if you want to fight against the ropes, that's fine. As long as you pay attention to me, if I say punch or get out, you do either one of the two, and that way I know you're okay and you're, and you're fine. Also, when, you, when, when the bell rings, I expect you to protect yourself at all times and spin out and get out of there and go to your corner. All right, as we start the fourth round, let's bring in Harold Letterman. Harold, how do you have it through four? Okay, Fred, 29-28, two rounds to one. Eric El Terrible Morales. Fred, I gotta tell you, the biggest problem that Injun Chi has got right now is his right eye is closing up. He's got a swelling under that right eye since the first round, and I got news for you. I don't know if he's seeing all those punches coming at him, because Morales, when he throws that left hook, has been very, very effective with it. Korean fighters notoriously have legs like tree trunks, and if you look at Injun Chi's legs, you'll realize where he gets all that power. But so far, in a very, very good fight, you know, with, with mostly power punches, Eric Morales is out punching Injun Chi to have a 2 1, a 2 to 1 lead. You are right about that. Chi does have a strong power base in those legs. Morales now turning the tables, forcing Chi into the corner. Catches Chi with a strong overhand right.
George, we talked about the things that Eric Morales needed to do. Needs to jab much more than he is. But what do you think about Engine Chi's performance so far? He is doing fine. Once Morales lands anything on him, you can be certain he's going to hit him back. And that's where Morales is running into a lot of trouble. He's getting hit back every time he lands a shot. He gets something back also. That's to be credited to a guy who's an awful competitor in Chi. Morales with a left hook. Eric Morales enjoys a nine inch reach advantage and getting back to doing the things to exploit that advantage here in the fourth round. She is doing the jabbing now. Jabbed him from pillow to post. instructions to Julio Gonzalez. Hey Julio, a couple of quick instructions. I want you to wa watch the punches behind the back of the head. No punches behind the back of the head. I want you to watch your low blows and your kidney punches. Bone here on up is fine. I don't care where your trunks are, okay? If you get hit low, I don't want you flashing or telling me that you got hit. I'll be able to tell and take whatever action deemed necessary. Bell rings, I expect you to protect yourself, spin off, go to your corner. In case mouthpiece falls out, Keep fighting as long as there's action or as long as there is an advantage, I'll let you continue to fight without a mouthpiece. But once there's a lull in the action, I'll stop, pick up the mouthpiece, and we'll take it to you, sir, and we'll put it on, we'll, you can clean it for him. mentioned Staples Center here is a near sellout Julio Gonzalez from Huntington Beach California this obviously would be the largest crowd that he's ever fought in front of you just saw him there does he look relaxed he seems relaxed but I really haven't seen enough of him to be able to compare it with anything else uh, but he seems a very self-possessed uh, young man and um, I think he'll give whatever he's got and shouldn't be intimidated by the occasion. Right, right. Morales right, picked up the pace in the fourth round, but only landed 14 of 84 jabs. She trying to Keep the fight inside here in the fifth round. Morales snapping back the head of Chi with a strong left jab. Chi comes right back with two left hands. Injun Chi is uh, trying to bake, break that 24 straight losing streak of Korean fighters in Los Angeles, and he's doing a very good job. Maybe not good enough to win, but good enough uh, to make Morales have to bring out his best stuff. George, have we seen Morales' best stuff? I don't yeah, think so. He's starting to take charge of the fight now. Pepping him with that left jab, standing in the middle of the ring. That's that's the best he can give us with some occasional hooks. Never getting hit back. Some great fireworks coming off the fist of Eric Morales right there. 
Great work with left hooks and right hands. Injun Chi, though, right there in front of Morales. Morales takes charge of the fight, then he allows Chi to get right back into it. Well, I'm going to give Chi some credit. And normally, when a guy's been hit with a four or five punch combination, he's not that anxious to get back. And he just keeps coming back. Injun Chi, a tough Korean fighter. Eric Morales with his hands full. Jab, go ahead and jab. You have to jab. Fine. Chi, as you saw him blinking in the corner, was still trying to recover from this feverish combination late in the round. Morales is 11 and 0 in championship fights. This is the first championship fight for Injun Chi. George, did you spot something in Morales' corner? Do you think his hands are bothering him? Yeah, he was able to land some good shots. He went away hurting in the hand. Chi now muscles up in the center of the ring. Morales opens his hands as if to say, bring it on. Well, Morales is now covering up his left eye. Headbutt. Actually, you heard the referee rule that there's a headbutt.